all, I am Professor S. S. Iyer. In finite element analysis, there is introduction. In introduction, the finite analysis is a computing technique that is used to obtain approximate solution to the boundary value problems in engineering. It uses a numerical technique called the finite element method to solve boundary value problems. FA involves a computer model of a design that is loaded and analyzed for specific results. The concepts of FA can be explained with a small example of measuring the parameter of circle in a figure 1. In general working of FA, there it is used for better knowledge of FA with build of more accurate models. It will also help you understand the back, back end working of ANSYS. This shown in figure number 2. In FA, there are some terms like stiffness matrix, like degree of freedom. In degree of freedom, you define as the ability of a node to translate or, uh, or transmit the load. In boundary conditions, the boundary conditions are used to eliminate the unknowns in the systems. There are different concepts like nodes, elements and element shapes. In nodes, there are similar to the points in geometry and represent the corner points of a element. It is shown in figure. In elements, element ship is specified by node and element is shown for a triangular. It is shown in figure. A point element is the form of a point and therefore has only one node. In line element, a line element has the shape of a line or curve. Therefore, a minimum of two nodes are required to define it. It is shown in figure number 4. In chapter 1, there is some area element. An area element has the shape of a quadrilateral or a triangle. Therefore, it requires a minimum of three or four nodes to define it. Some area elements are shown in figure so like first order, second order, first order of linear triangle, second order of quadrilateral triangle. In volume element, a volume element has a shape of hexahedron 8 nodes, wedge 6 nodes, tetrahedron 4 nodes or pyramid 5 nodes. Some of the volume elements are shown in figure 6. General procedure to conducting the FMA, uh, finite element analysis as set the type of analysis to be used, create the model, define the element type, divide the given problem into nodes and elements. Apply material properties and boundary conditions, derive the element matrices and equations, assemble the element equation. Next to solve the unknown quantity at nodes, next interpret the results. In APA there is lot of use of ANSYS. In ANSYS the general process of finite element analysis is divided into three main phases like preprocessor solution and postprocessor post -processor refer, post -processor is referred in figure. In preprocessor is a program that processes the input data to produce the output that is used as input to the subsequent subsequent phase. In solution phase is completely automatic. The APA software generates the element matrices, computes nodal values and derivatives, and stores the result data in files. In postprocessor, the output from the solution phase is in numerical form and consists of in nodal values of the field variable and its derivatives. In effective utilization of APA, some effective utilization of APA from engineers and APA software are discussed. In engineers, an engineer who wants to work with the tool should have sound knowledge of strength of materials, heat transfer, thermodynamics, and good analytical designing skills. In softwares, there is analysis type to be performed, flexibility and accuracy of the tool, hardware configuration of your system. In APA software, there are different softwares like ANSYS, Adena, Abacus, HyperMesh, NX, Nestran, Cosmos, Nisa, Mark, Next, LS, MSC, and Star CD. In key assumptions in APA as assumptions related to geometry, assumptions related to material properties, assumptions related to boundary conditions. There are different types of analysis like structure analysis. In structure analysis, there is static analysis, dynamic analysis, spectrum analysis, buckling analysis, dynamic analysis. In dynamic analysis, there are model analysis, harmonic analysis, transient ana analysis. In thermal analysis, used to determine the temperature distribution and related thermal quantities. In fluid flow analysis, this analysis used to determine the flow distribution and temperature of a fluid. There are some important terms and definitions like strength, 
द स्ट्रेंथ इज मटेरियल इज सब्जेक्टेड टू एन एक्सटर्नल लोड द सिस्टम अंडर गोज अ डिफॉर्मेशन इट इन टर्न द मटेरियल विल ऑफर रेजिस्टेंस अगेन डिफॉर्मेशन इन लोड द एक्सटर्नल फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन ए बॉडी इज कॉल्ड द लोड इन स्ट्रेंथ द फोर्स ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस रेफर्ड बाय बॉडी अगेंस्ट द डिफॉर्मेशन इज कॉल्ड स्ट्रेस इन स्ट्रेंथ व्हेन बॉडी इज सब्जेक्टेड टू अ लोड इट्स लेंथ विल चेंज द रेशो ऑफ चेंज इन लेंथ टू द ओरिजिनल लेंथ ऑफ द मेंबर इज कॉल्ड स्ट्रेन इन इलास्टिक लिमिट द मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेंथ दैट कैन बी अप्लाइड टू मटेरियल विदाउट प्रोड्यूसिंग पैरामीटर परमानेंट डिफॉर्मेशन इज नोन एज इलास्टिक लिमिट ऑफ मटेरियल इन अल्टीमेट स्ट्रेंथ द मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेंथ दैट द मटेरियल विच स्टैंड वेन सब्जेक्टेड टू एन अप्लाइड लोड is called as ultimate strain in factor of safety the ratio of ultimate strain to the estimated maximum stress in ordinary use it is also known as design stress is known as factor of safety lateral strain if a cylindrical rod is subject to an axial tensile load the length of the rod will increase and diameter of the rod will be decreases Next is the Poisson's ratio. The ratio of lateral strain to the longitudinal strain is constant within the elastic limit. It is called as Poisson's ratio. In bulk modulus, if a body is subjected to equal stresses along the three mutually perpendicular directions, the ratio of the direct stresses to the corresponding volumetric strain is found to be constant for a given material when the deformation is within a certain limit. this ratio is called as bulk modulus and it is denoted by k creep at elevated temperature and constant stress or load many material consist continue to deform at a slow rate this behavior of material is called creep the classification of materials materials are classified into three main categories elastic plastic and rigid in case of elastic materials their deformation dips appears on the removal of load in plastic material the deformation is permanent a rigid material does not undergo any any deformation when subject subject to an external load in introduction of ansys ansys developed by ansys in usa it is dedicated computer aided finite element modeling and finite element analysis tool ansys is known as standard in the field of computer aided engineering Thus, in ANSYS, there is system requirement like Intel Pentium 4 or AMD 64, running Microsoft 2000 Professional Edition, Windows XP 32 bit, or Windows XP X4 X4 on it. Okay, thank you.